Hey, what's up you guys? It's Six. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is once again very unplanned. Um, I have been so busy this month trying to figure out my everything from taxes to commissions to just it it this month really crept up on me uh, i had a video planned but just never got around to filming it so now i am finally doing uh, my backup plan which is this collection um of a few warm-up sketches that i did plus one finished painting at the end so do stick with me if you're interested in seeing that you probably already saw it in the thumbnail but if you want to see it come together then stick around uh, and don't forget to subscribe because people be forgetting to do that i be forgetting to do that until people tell me so if you just heard me subscribe thanks anyway uh so this particular day that i was sketching uh i was really feeling motivated <laughs> to practice um just painting in general um i know i said it was over my one layer painting i lied I lied, okay? I wanted to approach it from a different direction and just really like experiment and do a tons of uh, a ton of other things, especially considering this was originally for uh, just something that I was gonna do on the side and not actually for a full length video. So there was no pressure involved with working on this piece. It was purely for myself. Um, and when I first got started, I was like, I'm just gonna do, you know, some regular random warm ups that I would do, you know, classic three quarter angle, um, and then I was like, no, I need to hop onto Pinterest, but rather than going through my main board or going through my curated um, board that I have for portrait studies, I figured that I would go to the more ideas section and then actually try to find, oh, there's the tiniest little bird that just flew on top of my fence. He is so whittle and so fluffy. Oh my God. That is the cutest bird I've ever seen. I've literally never seen a bird that looks like that. I'm, I'm filming my voiceover in my car again. So, uh, distractions. Um, that little bird, he's baby. He was so cute. Oh my God, that was adorable. Anyways, <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> I th oh, uh, I don't know what I was originally talking about. Uh, but, um, oh, that's right. So I was doing, <laughs> can you tell this video is not scripted? I was doing these, um, these sketching things and then i was like no i need to kind of take a focus more on uh masculine characters because i've been getting a lot of commissions uh that involve men or masculinely uh masculinely masculinely uh presenting individuals uh and i have really been struggling to draw them <laughs> so i was like i definitely need some more practice in this area um if i'm going to continue to do commission work so that's something that absolutely needs to happen so i started uh rendering out some sketches and then by the third one i was like do you know who this reminds me of roy mustang so uh y'all know that i have been absolutely utterly obsessed with full metal alchemist since march of last year <laughs> and that has not gone away i have thought about it every single day since uh, and that includes roy mustang because he's a beautiful handsome man and i cannot draw him i can't do it it's really hard i um, mean i do have very specific head cannons for him uh that i implemented in this illustration so uh more noticeably um his hair i think that he would have longer hair i I know he has really like short like bowl cut coconut headed looking boy in the actual series but i thought he would look really nice with kind of like almost like a grown out like mullet kind of like a lot of k-pop artists have i don't listen to k-pop personally i just see a lot of it on my uh, my Facebook timeline, so I can't name anybody in particular, but it is a hairstyle that I see very often, um, and I like it a lot. I think it's really nice looking, and so I was like, I'm gonna give this to him. I don't care if it's impractical for the military. He's handsome, and he deserves to have it. So, uh, I did struggle a lot trying to get his hair to look right, um, like how I pictured it in my mind, because I normally don't draw him like this. I normally draw him as close to canon in my art style as possible, but I, the, again, this was just a personal piece i really wanted to draw it uh, for myself and so i struggled doing that um also one thing that really upset me was how uh how visibly his features change by the end of this piece the sketch i was over the moon with i was quite literally like 
clenching my fist and like silently screaming um, about how happy I was that this was coming together and how it was starting to look like how I personally picture um, Roy to look. And it just didn't, uh, I started painting and the more that I added in colors, the more that I kind of again was doing that one layer painting thing the less and less it started to look like Roy um but for the most part like for literally I would say 70% of me working on that illustration um I thought it was looking like Roy and then I I think I got towards the end where I started kind of rendering a little bit more kind of smoothening things out and that's when it started to go away which is really frustrating because I have been doing so many sketch commissions lately uh, that I feel like when I do fully rendered pieces they're losing a little bit of um, things like the likeness and also things like uh, just like the overall quality which doesn't make sense because my sketches are so messy so when it comes to painting surely they should come together and look cleaner and look nicer and more um visually interesting but for some reason they just aren't which normally i really feel like it's the other way around i always feel like my sketches look really busted and then i'll go to do the render and i'm like now everything's perfect now i'm not embarrassed to share this with you but lately it's really been the other way around and that's so frustrating um so yeah, I just did my best to try to um, try to work on it and, um, you know, render it out. But by the end of it, I was like, this doesn't look like him anymore. And I'm really frustrated about it. Um, I do really like a lot of the individual elements of him. Like if I cover up certain parts, like if I cover up his cheeks, uh, then I think it looks like him, which is, it makes me so upset because I do think Roy would have really chubby cheeks. I think he'd have really round chubby cheeks. Um, and so I tried to give him that, but once I did, it stopped looking like him. But if I cover his cheeks up, it looks like him. If I cover up, you know, certain aspects, looking at every piece of him individually, I'm like, yes, that's Roy Mustang, sure. Um, but then, you know, all together, it's like, who is that little boy? <laughs> that's a child. That's a like a 13, 14 year old. So I was just like, oh, come on. Why? Why did this happen? Um, because I did, I thought at the beginning when I just had the sketch that he was looking super handsome, super just like, that's a man. And then I finished it and I was like, that's a boy. I don't know if it's the colors or the way that I did the cheeks or what, but it stopped looking like him. At least you can kind of tell, hopefully, that it's a masculine aligned character. I don't know. I really struggle to draw men, but I do absolutely um, want to continue to work on it. So yeah, that is all that I have for this video. I'm going to let the music play us out. You guys can just chill while I finish up rendering this piece. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Would you look at this and see Roy Mustang? Probably not. Um, do you guys want to see more fan art on the channel? I definitely would like to do so. I just don't know what I would do it for just yet. Um, and like I said, I do have other videos coming soon that are planned and should be uh, more put together. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this hot mess of a video. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.